you multiply unto you all. You are all welcome to this week's lesson video for the week. Okay, so we're taking our strand from energy. Energy, okay? And our substrand is light energy. Okay, so let, let's go through the objectives. Objectives. By the end of the lesson, the people should be able to identify and explain the importance of light energy. Once again, by the end of the lesson, the people should be able to identify and explain the importance of light energy. Yes, I keep saying energy. Let's go through the meaning of energy. Energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Okay? So the ability to do work is what? Energy. Okay? The, what, the strength that you have to do a work is called what? Energy. The power that you have to do work is called what? Energy. Okay? The ability to do work is what? Energy. Now let's come to what? Light energy. Okay? There are several forms of energy. There are several forms of what? Energy. But today we are what? Treating or we are learning what? Light energy. Let's go through the meaning. Light energy. This is a form of energy that makes it possible for us to see the world or the things around us. Okay? So light energy is the type of what? Energy. Or it's the form of energy that helps us or that enables us to see the things what? Around us. Okay? In the world. Without light energy, human beings can't see, animals can't see, and plants can't also make their own food. Okay? Or plants can't even grow without light energy. Okay? So light energy is a form of energy that makes it possible for us to see. Okay? See the world or the things around us. So without the light energy, human beings and animals cannot see. Okay, so light energy doesn't, doesn't just come. Okay, there are several sources of what light energy. Okay, there are two main sources of what light energy. So there are two main sources of light energy. When I say sources, ways by which what we can get what light energy. Okay, ways there are two main ways by which we can get what light energy. Okay, one. The first one is the natural sources. Natural sources. And the second one is the man-made sources. Okay? So the natural sources and the man-made sources. Okay? Or artificial sources. Natural sources or and the what man-made sources or the artificial sources. Let's take the words natural sources. Let's go to the natural sources. Natural sources. These are the sources of life energy which are created by God. Okay? So this the natural source of life energy are the sources of what life energy which were what are created by God. Okay? It is God who created this those kind of what light energy. Okay? It is God who created those kind of what light energy. So natural sources of light energy are what sources of light energy which are created by God. Okay? Yes. So let's go to some examples of them. Examples of natural sources of light energy. One, the stars. Okay? The stars that we see at night is a natural source of what? Light energy. They give us what? Light. They help us to see. They help human beings to see at night and also help animals to see. Okay, some animals feed at night. They come out to eat at night. Some animals will, will live at night. So these animals use the light or what the stars to see. Okay, they use a natural source of energy, a uh, uh, natural source of light energy, which is the star to see. Human beings also use the star to see at what night. Okay, the next one we have fireflies. Fireflies is also a natural source of what light energy okay yes those who live in the world the, uh, the, the villages our various villages those who go to what farm and come home at night or the hunters sometimes they use fireflies was to help or to be able to what see so fireflies also helps us to what see it's a natural source of light energy 
we have some what worms called glow, okay? Some glow worms. Glow worms helps us to what see. They glow. They give out light, okay? They help us to what see, okay? Not only human beings, other words, animals to, what, to also what see. The next one, some fishes. Some fishes what give out light, okay? These fishes give out light naturally. Okay, they are skin. God created them in, what, in a different way. That what they, 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 their body and their eyes and all every part of their body gives out what light. So they give out light at night. What for what the fishes and for other animals in the water. God created the fishes in the world, all, all the water bodies. Okay, so they give out light so that all the other animals in the water bodies will be able to what, see. Okay. Yes, yeah, so these are the various or natural sources of light. And if there are several ones, you can also research on them. Okay? We have what the stars, the fireflies, the glow worms, and some what fishes. These are all some examples of natural sources of what light energy. All these were created by God. These are the natural sources of light energy which were created by God. Okay, so now let's come to the man-made sources or artificial sources. These are the sources of light energy made by human beings. Okay, they were made by man. Okay, these man-made sources of course, light energy were made by man. Okay, they were made by human beings. Okay, they were created by human beings. They were made by what? Human beings. Okay, we have been using them. Yeah, in our various homes, we'll be going through some examples. Examples of man-made sources of light energy. One, the bulbs, okay? Whenever it's what you are in your room at night, and uh, what the room is dark, you, you are the one using only what the bulb, okay? So whenever you own the bulb, you are using a man-made source of what light energy so that you can see, so that we can learn, so that man can cook, so that you can iron your dress. So that you can do whatever you want to do, okay, at night. The next one is the candles. We sometimes we own candles when what? It is light out. We own candles, okay? Candles is a man made source of what? Light and it just helps us to see. Some people are using candles to sell and do a lot of things, okay? The next one, lanterns, okay? Yes. Yes, the lanterns was being used in the world uh, many years ago, okay? Yes, but still, some people still use lanterns. So lanterns is another word, a man-made source of what? Light energy. They what? Uh, uh, power it with kerosene, and what they, they own it with the matches, and it's what? Light, okay? A lantern is a what? Man-made source of what? Light energy. We have touch light. Yes, this one, nowadays, everyone what? has what? Touch light in their homes. So that when the bike is light out, we can what? On it so that they can see. So touch light is a man-made source of what? Light energy. Television set. Yes, our television set also gives us what? Light. Okay? Whenever we on the television, we can all well, you can see that the room becomes bright. Okay, it gives out what? Light. So the television set is a what? Source of what? Light energy. Okay, it's a man-made uh, what source of what light energy or man made example of what light energy? The next one is burning firewood. Okay, so when you go to the forest and um, in the foreign countries where what uh, the, the temperature is very cold, okay, yes, people own firewood what, at night when they are sitting outside so that they want they want they can feel what warm and also they can what see. Uh, at night, okay? So burning firewood is one of the ways by which what you get what light energy. It's one of the man-made ways of what getting light energy. The first one is box, candles, lanterns, touch lights, television, burning firewood. Okay? These are the various what man-made sources of what light energy. You can go through the videos and what find more examples of what sources of what both the natural and the man-made what sources of what getting light energy and answer the question that you have been sent stay safe obey your parents read the bible bye bye